going on guys? We're out here in the Sam Rayburn area and today we're gonna go ahead and walk you through Tackle Attic Tackle Shop. Now this is a shop not too far from the lake. I'm here with my good friend Hunter and RJ and uh, we're gonna show you why we like this this tackle shop. Now I'll give you a heads up there are some Cast King uh, products that we're gonna be picking up. That's the main reason why I love this place but there's also some really neat tackle. It's just a really cool shop in general. So we're gonna do a walkthrough today show you a little bit about this place and then we'll get out there on the water pick up some tackle and do some fishing. So let's get to it. All right guys, so we're inside Tackle Attic. We're gonna go ahead and take a look at some of the awesome reels and rods and stuff they have here. I'm gonna show you some of the awesome sections of their Japanese baits, some of my favorite baits, and then we'll do a quick walk through, grab some gear, and head out there on the water. So first stuff, we're gonna talk about the reel selection right here. They got some of the coolest reels, as you can see, some of the highest quality reels. Casking Eye Reel, by far one of my favorite reels, hands down. Definitely one we're gonna be grabbing for our set today. But let's go ahead and take a look at this awesome bass up here. Come on. 16.8 pound lake record at Sam Rayburn Lake. It was caught on a bulldog double willow blade half ounce spinnerbait. Spinnerbaits might be the money for this lake, it looks like. So we're gonna have to look at some of those. But while we're here, a Roman made mother chaser right here. $1,000 bait, this thing's insane. On top of that though, we got a ton of other custom baits down here. Take a look at these things. hand painted, super realistic. We got crappie paint jobs, we got shad paint jobs, we got your uh, perch paint jobs, really, really cool stuff. But that's not all. Let's go take a look at some of the soft plastics here. The JDM section is unreal. All right guys, now right here, this is my fish heaven. As you see, we are just lined up with JDM baits, some really, really cool, unique stuff. Some lures that will work really good in finesse fishing too. Look at the ultra realistic baits, really, really digging these. <laughs> but it doesn't stop here. Look around you real quick. We got baits, every single wall, every single section in here. And on top of that, we got rods, reels, they even got a whole maintenance area. So let's go take a quick look over there and get a whole lap around this building. You guys saw the reels over there. There's additional reels right here. One of my favorite reels, hands down, Cast King Kestrel Elite BFS reel, clicking drag inside. This thing is the real deal. We're gonna definitely have to pick this up, get some BFS lures here and start fishing the creek. Maybe even fish the spillway and see if we can get ourselves a big boy on this thing. I've showed you guys some of the cool reels, tons of cool bait. They got a whole section over here of their terminal tackle. They got a whole section of rods. Let's go show you guys the rods real quick too. This store just keeps going on guys. As you see, they got the rods, they got everything you need. You got your beginner section, you got your novice section, you got your advanced section, and then we got our pro section guys. The Cast King Asagi rods. Hands down, my favorite rod that I use. If you guys watch my videos, you know, I basically use this on all my combos, all my setups, Asagi rods. So if you're interested in picking them up, you know they got them here, and you know you can get the right reels to match up and the right tackle to match up. All right guys, so now that we got a quick idea of what's inside the store, let's grab some rods, reels, and tackle and start fishing. All right guys, so as you see, intense rockage spillway right here that we're walking on. Super, super sketchy, super slippery. I mean, there goes a rock right there. These rocks can just fall right away. Super slick from the water, algae builds up on them. So you gotta be really, really careful. We're just trying to take it step by step, move real easy, kind of go along the rocks. Oh God. And then we're gonna try to work down them. Uh, 
spillway portion's right there where we want to get. So let's try to get over there safely. All right, guys, let's get a few casts in real quick. So first thing we're going to be throwing is just this little jackal bladed bait, half ounce in weight. And uh, we're going to try to get it up and under the spillway. Water's clear today over here. Like the sun's way too bright. Even if I saw them. Yeah. That's a good one. What is it? Just a little bass. Just a little feisty one, guys. We're on them already, man. These spillway fish are definitely munching. Hey right, guys, first cast, first bass. Look how pretty that fish is, man. This one's gonna be interesting. Oh my god, it's slick because my muddy boots. There we go. Through the fence, baby. I think it's a white bass. This is uh, definitely harder than I thought it was going to be. There we go, guys. We got ourselves. That's a white bass. A lot of fun fighting. These are pretty good eating, and it's another species for the spillway. So let's get them back in the water and get back to fishing. Look how clear that water is, man. It's wild. It's not huge, it's just pulling drag. It's my probably third one of the day. Look at that. Beautiful fish. I'm right in it, but I got a spoon, so there we go, baby. Just a bass, but I'll take it. <laughs> oh, dude, this guy's plump to the brim. Another fish, man, another good one. Look at the belly, look at the build on this one. Got a little bit of melanoma too, that black lip. Beautiful fish. They are just different species over here on this hedge, dude. Look how fat that thing is. Just a butterball. Later, dude. Try to do a little bit more spillway fishing. It looks like a storm's trying to roll in. We well, got one now. I don't know what this is, if it's a normal bass or like a white bass, but it's it's coming to the surface the entire time. It's a giant crappie, guys. Massive crappie. Massive crappie. We want to land this thing. Oh, my crappamundo, guys. Definitely knocking out the species today. Look at that thing down his hatch, man. That's bigger than some of the uh, the bass I've been catching. Now we got ourselves a nice crappie. That's the money spot. I don't know what this is, but it's fighting a lot better than anything else. It's running the wall too. It wants to go right towards this wall. Oh my God, another crappie, bro. Monster crappie again. Oh my God, this one's even bigger. Yeah, buddy. 
We're just finding the crappie bite today, guys. Look at this. Pulling out two pound crappie like this. Onto the stringer you go, my friend. I got another buddy for you over here. All right, guys, so successful day down here at the dam. As you see, got ourselves some solid crappie. RJ got himself a nice whopper. Wiper, <laughs> sorry, whopper. It's because Hunter was using the whopper plopper all day. The bite's been on fire. It's slowly slowing down, so I think we're gonna call it for the day. Hopefully you guys learned a little bit more about this location, how you can find some awesome species, good eating fish, some good fish in general. But that's gonna be for today, guys. Hopefully you enjoyed. I'll catch you on the next one.